The UK has suspended an extradition treaty with Hong Kong in protest over a new security law which gives China sweeping powers. In a ratcheting up of diplomatic tensions, Foreign Secretary Dominic Raab announced that the treaty was being scrapped over fears that anyone extradited to the territory could be tried in mainland China. So I have consulted with the Home Secretary, the Justice Secretary and the Attorney General and the government has decided to suspend the extradition treaty immediately and indefinitely. Joshua Wong is a pro-democracy activist and is potentially running for a seat in the upcoming Legislative Council elections in Hong Kong and he joins me now. Thanks very much for speaking with us. The UK has denounced these laws as deeply troubling and a grave step. But how much has life changed in Hong Kong since these new security measures have come into effect? Uh, my book published a few years ago uh, was banned in Hong Kong's public library. Uh, unknown private car might be Chinese agent trace me and stalk me day by day with motorcycle and private car. Uh, with the risk to be extradited to China, uncertainty to be sent to black jail in Beijing, now it's the nightmare in Hong Kong. And how UK decided to stop the extradition agreement uh, to suspend it, it also implies how the world has no trust on Beijing. Now, Joshua, you were disqualified from running in the district council elections last year. So what makes you think that Beijing is going to let you run this time round? Uh, disqualified or censor me out from the ballot or not is the decision that Beijing need to make in the upcoming two weeks. It also related to how Beijing reassess their diplomatic relation with the Western world. If Beijing can't guarantee to operate the legislative council election in Hong Kong smoothly, orderly, without violating any human rights principle, it would just trigger more and more backfire around the world. So let's see what will be the decision of Beijing. But pro-democratic camp still aim to take majority in the Legislative Council. We believe the Council should be the place to gather the voice of people instead of gathering Beijing loyalists. Yeah, that's all well and good that you want that, but if Beijing doesn't allow it, then it's very little that you'll be able to do. On, on that theme, are you certain of your safety in Hong Kong? Do you feel safe at the moment? I feel not safe at all with the uncertainty to be extradited to China and some of the uh, middle-aged people might be the national security agent uh, to stop activists in Hong Kong. It just put our life and safety in risk. In Hong Kong, we have book publisher being physically kidnapped from Hong Kong to China. I just worry it will affect it and I will also face the same nightmare. So everyone in Hong Kong fight for freedom. We are facing the risk of being disappeared. Well, another prominent pro-democracy activist is Nathan Law. He has moved to the UK, I assume, so that he has at less risk of being extradited to the mainland. Do you ever consider moving to the UK? I will continue to fight until the last breath. We need to have uh, allies, just like Nathan, continue the international efficacy on global level. At the same time, we also need activists continue the fight on local level. No matter continue our election campaign, continue to confront the crackdown by Beijing, we still hope to let the world to know that we hope to through our vote, let our voice being heard around the world. We also hope to remind the world, now is the time to put Hong Kong under the global spotlight and also reassess their diplomatic relation and policy towards Hong Kong and Beijing. But does that not diminish your message somewhat if you've got people who are leaving the territory to go to the UK to continue this, this fight for what you see is real? If you believe in it that much, surely people like Nathan Law should stay in Hong Kong. Anyone after the national security law is passed in Hong Kong, if anyone lives in Hong Kong, call on sanction, might result in sent to black jail in Beijing in immediate. So now we have activists just like Nathan based overseas to continue to push forward on sanction. We also have activists, just like me or other youngster, continue our election campaign to generate it and to receive people's mandate to entrust our political belief. Joshua Wong, join us there from Hong Kong. Thank you very much.